Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I know you're used to seeing me on YouTube on Monday nights at 7 p.m., but for some reason I couldn't connect. So I sent a message out and said I would be on Facebook Live instead. So I hope that you saw the message, and I hope to have the YouTube issue fixed before next Monday. So welcome, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, Debbie. Hi, Denise. Definitely share my videos. Again, I apologize if you're watching this later on YouTube, but I did have an issue, and I didn't want to not do the video today or the live, so I switched over to Facebook. Gotta love technology. Not me. <laughs> so let's see who we got. Denise, Lisa, Debbie, Carolyn. Thank you all for tuning in. I didn't want to disappoint tonight because I have a great bundle to show you. So we are going to get started. Okay, so grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. And I am going to flip the camera. You're making your, oh, you're making the swing card that I did. Great. Yes, easy swing card. Hi, Christine. Hi, Vicki. Okay, let's, let's switch the camera. Okay, so before we get started, just a couple reminders that I do have uh, my online retreat going on and that you, you can sign up now. Uh, I have a date of September 19th because I want you to be able to get a free uh, stamp set with the um, celebration going on. So my online class in October is actually a retreat and for the price you will get this, this bundle, the sparkle of the season, you'll get the little delights you will get whatever um, celebration set you want. And you will get a swag bag with not only these sets, but also your free set. You will get the card kits for 8 to 10 projects. And you will get some goodies in there. Your embellishments, some ribbons, and some mystery gifts. Okay, so you want to sign up for that by September 19th, which actually is this Sunday. Okay, so don't forget to do that. I'm also doing one here live uh, in-house on the October 9th or 8th, I forgot. But anyway, if you can't join me live, you definitely want to sign up for the um, online retreat. So we all know that it's celebration till September 30th. Don't forget to get your orders in. Here is my host code for September if your order is less than $50, uh, less than $150, you want to use that host code. If it's more than $150, don't use the host code because you want to get the free items. Don't forget to check out the apparel shop at stampersdelightshop.com and use the host code or code stamper and get 10% off of items in there. We got some great new sweatshirts for the fall, so you definitely want to check those out. So for tonight, what I'm going to be showing is the Peaceful Deer Bundle. Love this. I love anything with the deers. And I don't know about you, but as soon as I see something in the catalog and the bundle has a matching punch, I have to have it. Okay, so we're going to do a little fun fold tonight, too. Hey, Vicki. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn. Definitely share the videos. Hey, Molly. How are you? Okay, so we're going to get started with that. Just a couple of other things that I will remind you, the Peaceful Deer is a bundle. We got the stamp set and the um, punch. A couple of other things that I, you'll see that I have used is the Encircled in Friendship die, and I'll show you which card I use that on. I use this die right here. So don't forget to look at your other items that you may already have that go nice with um, our holiday kit. I've also used the Tailor Made Tags and all of this will be in the description later, along with the dimensions for the fun fold that I'm going to be doing, okay? So don't worry about taking down the, the sizes if you miss it. It will be in the description when I am done. I'm also going to be using from the main catalog the Evergreen 3D Embossing Folder. Okay, so you're going to see a few of those. So first I'm going to start with some of the items or some of the um, samples that I have for you. And the first one, of course, well, let me let me do it this way so I can show you how I did this. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first and show you this. 
Okay, so this is, oh, and most important, with, with that bundle, the reason I want to do this now is I've already done the um, Penguin bundle, and you can get the free designer series paper with that. And the reason I want to show you this tonight is because this bundle coordinates with one of the free designer series paper you can get on page eight, the Peaceful Prints. So with that, I did this card, and I used the designer series paper back here from the, the free stamp, uh, the free bundle that you can get, or the free designer series paper. I'm telling you, I, I'm all discombobulated because I couldn't get on YouTube. So I used some designer series paper back there and some very vanilla. I stamped the trees from the stamp set. And then, um, here's the trees right here. I stamped all those. And then I used that um, embossing folder, the evergreen, and I embossed right over this once I stamped it. So you can see how that goes so nice with those trees. And then I cut out these deer, okay, because the punch actually does this deer, okay, or this one. But um, these little deers here, you have to fussy cut. So I did that. And of course I used this ribbon. This is the um, evergreen ribbon in the annual catalog. Oh, thank you, Molly. And I thought that came out cute. Look at this. The mother looking at her deer. And there's Rudolph. I put a little red rhinestone there. So there's Rudolph. And, of course, I used a piece to um, decorate the envelope. And then inside it says sending love and peace this season. Of course, you can see that I used the antlers up here. And I used my blends to color that in. I'm thinking you are still excited from your surprise this weekend. Yes, I don't know if you noticed, but there's some deflated balloons behind me. My cousin surprised us with an anniversary party, a small anniversary party at her house for our 40th anniversary, which is actually this Sunday. So she really got me good because I thought we were going out to dinner. I got all dressed up to go out to dinner, but that it was, it was wonderful. We had a great time. 40 years. Oh, my God. How can it be 40 years I've been married? I'm only 30. <laughs> I wish. Anyway... So what I did with this, when I back, when I use a, uh, the designer series back here, you can use the whole cutout piece, but I like to, you know, get some more bang for my buck. So what I did with that piece before I glued it down, I cut a piece of the designer series paper out with the tailor-made tags. So I have a punch or a tag to go with the um, punch. Okay, so I cut it out in the middle. You can't see it, but if you lifted this up here, you'd see that there's a tag missing because I made a cute little tag from that. And you can see this is the designer series paper, and the punch does work with that. Thank you, Donna. So here's my first card, and then, of course, the tag. 30, I look like I'm 20. Oh, I love you, Lisa. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm 90 when I get up in the morning. Okay, so there's the tag. The next one I did, basically, I did the designer series paper. I stamped right over this designer series paper with the green um, trees again, and then I ran it through the embossing machine. Hi, Tammy. And then, of course, I used our satin red ribbon, Merry Christmas. I cut out the little bunny and the little deer, and there again, I used the red rhinestones a lot with this. Made a little Rudolph. And there's the coordinating paper. So that was another card that I did. And of course I did the trees with the little bunny down there. So that was another card I did. Now where I used the um, dies from the Encircled, Encircled in Friendship, I used our red velvet paper. Don't forget, that's, a, that's back in our holiday catalog. Let me bring that up so you can see that. So that's the... Um, red velvet paper, and of course I used those nice little um, snowflakes from the Whimsy and Wonder. And then I, again, you got a little um, wreath here. And I used this, um, this right here is from the ha uh, Halloween set, but you can use that for the Christmas because it's got the red and black. Thank you, Marilyn. Best time of the year. And this one is a tent fold. So there we have that. And on this one, I just stamped the deer that says, oh, what fun. So that was another one I did. And you can see I used the red rhinestones again with that designer series paper. 
So the two I'm going to show you now are actually the fun fold that I'm going to show you how to do, and it's really pretty easy. And this is a tw uh, twist corner fold card. So there's the envelope. And here, you when you when you see this, it's going to twist open. So you got to use designer series paper that's not going to matter which way you look at it. So like something that has the deer going across it. Let me see. I got the paper back here. Let me see what I'm showing you. So something like this paper would not work too well because if you cut this, the deer is going to be going the wrong way when you open it. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so you look at the card this way, and of course you open it, and it goes this way. So that's what I mean. If you have a, if you have this straight, and you have a deer there or something, when you open it this way, the deer is going to be sideways. So you want to use something that's not going to matter which way you hold it. So this is the fun fold. And inside, you can see there's your sentiment. There's a place to write your sent, whatever you want to say. And then here again, I stamped that deer. I punched it out with the punch. And this again is a corner twist fold card. Ta-da! You like that one? And of course, I use the snowflake and some of those um, holiday rhinestones. And still shots will be on my blog either later tonight or tomorrow. All right, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment here and on YouTube. The next one, the same card, just use different designer series paper. And here I use the um, snowflake one. I, I'm getting to really like this red and black for Christmas. And then again, when you open it, it twists up this way and there's the deer. So I stamped some and then, of course, I punched one out in that black and red check. So this is the corner twist card. See how it twists? Ta-da! Ta-da! You can use any of the designer series paper with this. I think the penguins would have been cute, too. So let me show you how I did that. Now, again, don't worry about the dimensions. I have them written down here, and I will put those on later. You're going to start out with... I think I'm going to do this one in red. These two were done in the very vanilla. And this one, well, very vanilla and white. I'm going to try red this time. So you're going to take a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11. Does the twist sit on the table? No, it doesn't. But you know what? You could put something on there. Well, let, look at this. Because I have that bumped up on a dimensional, you could actually set it there. Pat, uh, Tish, that was a good. That was a very good question. Let me show you. Okay, so because I have the deer with a dimensional, it could rest up there like that if you wanted it to. Okay. Okay. So again, we're going to start with a four and a quarter by eleven piece of cardstock. We are going to score that right in the middle five and a half okay then what I'm going to do is I am going to take this and I'm going to get my take your pick tool and I want to bring this in right here at the edge and I want to go to four and a quarter which is right there okay and I'm just going to put a little dot there four and a quarter this works better than a uh, pencil mark. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that dot that I put there. Let me bring this up so you can see it. I'm going to put that right in the cutting tray right here. And I'm going to cut this off. Oh, I'm not going to cut it off. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna uh, score it. Okay, so I'm going to score that right there. And hopefully I didn't move it. And that's what makes that fold. So then I'm going to fold it this way. I'm going to get my bone folder. Ugh. Got a good burnishing. I'm going to flip this piece that I scored up here. And then I'm going to give that another good score. 
And that's really the base of it. That's that's how it starts. Look, let me bring that in. See, that's how it starts. Very easy. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I am going to start layering. So the first piece, and I cut two of these because I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I can use the red velvet or I can use the black and the red. I think I'm going to use the black and the red. So this piece is four by four. So it's a square piece, and you're going to cut this in half. I'm going to slice that right in half so that we have two pieces here. And that's going to go right here, just like this. Okay, we're going to glue that down just like that. If you want the design, you could actually do it this way, which maybe I'll change it up a little bit, and I'll do it. I like this paper, but because I'm using, I don't know. Okay, so let me just flip this over for a minute because I might change this. Okay, so that's your four by four. Then you're gonna be layering. I'm not putting it together yet because I might change it. Okay, so your next piece is gonna be a piece of red, and this is that red velvet, and that's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Then I've got a piece of black that is three and an eighth by three and an eighth. So just a little bit of edging and you can actually cut more of that off if you'd like. Okay, and then you have another piece of designer series paper that's three by three. So three layers right here. So this is why I said, I don't think I'm gonna use that, this side of it, but I wanted to see how it would look. It looks kind of neat, but we're gonna go with that side. Okay, so again, this piece is four by four. This piece is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. The black is three and an eighth by three and an eighth. And this is three by three. And they basically get layered and put on the card. So let's do that. And we're gonna glue these sides, okay? All right, so we're gonna add some glue. I'm using my silicon mat because I wanna get it as close to the edge as I can. And if I do it right down the middle, then both of them get, I stick both of them together. But any extra will stay right on the mat. Definitely have to have that mat. And then what's left over will stick right on the mat. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to pull these apart. It's just a quick, easy way to do that. I'm going to layer this one right on here. And this one's going to go right down here. Okay. So there's the start of it. Okay, so now for some more layering. Now here's my red velvet piece. Now remember, you're not going to glue the whole thing. You only want part of that. So be careful with that. I'm going to bring that in. And I am going to glue this down first or you can layer those on there first i'm going to do it this way and i'm going to lay that right on top here making sure that i don't have any glue here then i'm going to bring in those other two pieces so this one i'll just go ahead and glue right down onto the black it's a really easy card to make and it's, I think it's cute. Something different. Okay. Then we are going to just glue this down. I'm just wondering if I brought over... Uh, did I bring over some snowflakes? I might have forgot those. I'll go grab them. And I'm going to lay that right on there. And that's the start of it right there. Okay. So that's the outside. We'll finish that in a minute. For the inside, you're going to need two more pieces. And those pieces are the red is the red is three and three and one eighth by four and three eighths. Three and one eighth by four and three eighths. And then the white gets layered right on top of that one. So that's for the inside of your card. Okay. All right. So first let's stamp. I'm going to bring this in, and 
I'm going to bring this mat in. And I am going to grab this deer that says, uh, oh, what fun. And I'm going to grab my real red. And I'm going to stamp that right there. And then I'm going to grab the other deer in the real red. I'm going to have him looking that way. So you see that, got that. Now I'm going to bring in a piece of white right here. And I'm going to ink this up. And I am going to stamp that right there. Now let's see. I'm going to put that right punch right in there. And there's my little deer. And he's going to be right in front of these little guys. And I'm going to use dimensionals for that. Oh, uh, thank you, Brenda. Brenda says I'm the best. Well, I think you guys are all the best for watching me, even when I have technical difficulties. So I'm going to add some dimensionals there. And even though you can't see those little deer, well, maybe I'll have them go up a little bit. Eh, I'll put them right there. That's just for a little background. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead and glue this down onto my red. I'm just getting so excited that I'm going to be able to do more of these videos come December when I retire from my day job. Okay, so there's my inside. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And that's going to go. Now, here's something. You want to make sure that it folds, that you can't see that. So what I do is I put the glue on there. I line it up like this. Okay, line it up just like that so that none of it's showing. So when I fold it, I'm folding it right where it needs to be. Ta-da! So there's the twist part and there's the inside. Oh, you can catch the replay, Patricia. Okay, so now let's decorate and do something with the front here. So let's bring in, let's see, the best time of the year, Merry Christmas, let's celebrate. No, I want a Christmas saying, so I am going to use Merry Christmas. All right, I'm going to bring in a strip here of white. I don't really need that thick of one. Let's see if I have a thinner one. Yeah, here I do. I keep all my strips when I'm cutting cardstock, and they work perfect for when I'm, I need a strip of something. I am going to stamp Merry Christmas, and if my head's in the way, I apologize. Merry Christmas. That can go right there. But I think I want to put something else there. I think I'm going to, see, I said I was going to change this up. So let me see what papers I have here. I think I'm going to. Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer again. See, I haven't figured out which way I was going to do this. I wanted to do it live. So let's go with in three quarters of an inch, I think, would be enough. See, I'm not even measuring that. I got a little strip here. Card on the fly. This is going to lay right in there. Yep, okay. I'm going to take a pair of paper snips. Could use my banner punch if I had it on the table, but I don't, so I'm just going to snip that. I am going to lay that right on there. And again, I'm going to use dimensionals for that. Hi, Beth. Let's flip this over. You can see that my paper piercing mat I keep covered. I'm going to put three on there. And then I'm just going to pop that right up here. And I'm going to put that up here. Oh, yeah, I like that. What do you think? 
Yeah, that brightens it up a lot. But if you use a white, the basic white, or our very vanilla, you can actually stamp right on there. But I wanted to change this one up a bit. So we're gonna put that right up here. You're gonna love making these. Okay. So now we have the Merry Christmas. And then right here, we need to have another sentiment. So I'm gonna bring in another piece of white. Now this one, I'm not gonna put color on. I am gonna see if I can, let me see if I have a, no, I don't, okay. Sending love. What other sentiment? Wishing you wonderful a wonderful year, friendship, dear. Uh, do I want that one? No, I like this. I like this one, sending love and peace. So we're going to use that. I'm going to ink that up. I am going to stamp that right there. Again, I am just going to cut this off. Now, that's not quite straight, so let's see. Got a little bit more to trim off here. I want it to be proportioned. And that I can put right in there. I think I'm going to do something else with this. I'm going to grab that little deer again. And I'm just going to put that little deer face there. Isn't it cute? I just love them. Let's see. And I have this one that's sitting down. Let's see if I can put him right here. Yep. There we go. That adds a little bit more to it. Hi, Holly. So I'm going to glue that down. And I'm going to lay that right on top there. So when you look at the card, it's going to say Merry Christmas, sending love and peace this season. And of course, this is where you're going to sign it. Now we're going to decorate the outside. But I want to grab one of those snowflakes. So let me just grab that. And of course, this is to the whimsy and wonder. This is the wonderful snowflakes. I go through a lot of these snowflakes. Love these. And I like the fact that you can color them too. You can use our blending brushes or sponges and color them, but we're gonna do white. You quickly made this card. It is easy, that's what I'm telling you, it's so easy. Sometimes, sometimes I shy away from cards myself because I'm like, mm, no, it looks too hard. And then I realize it's not. Trial and error. We're gonna put that right there. Okay, now again, remember, let me just show you something because I have a couple of cutouts. I would love to put that deer right there, but if I, you realize if I put him there and then I pull it up this way, he's upside down. So that's why I don't use him there. Okay, I'm gonna bring in some of those holiday rhinestones and I'm gonna use the um, bigger ones this time. I've been using the red the real red ones. Okay, but I really want a larger one here. So I am going to grab the, here we go, the cherry cobbler ones, because there's a couple of big ones on there. And I want the bigger one right in the middle. Okay. And then I got some smaller ones, which my other take your pick tool is, I got the brush on this one end, but that's okay. I'm going to put one right there. I always like to frame my sentiment on the front. And then I have a few extras, so let's see. Let's put them around here. I'll put the large one here and a small one here. And then maybe a couple around here. You know, when it comes to bling, I have no problem using a lot of it. I'll put one right there. There it is. That's really all there is to it. And then it opens up this way. And then of course we have to do an envelope. So let's grab an envelope here. And I have this piece already cut, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that for my envelope. 
I'm gonna lay that right on. I love having the envelopes with the matching designer series paper, don't you? And of course, what I trim off, I can keep using. I'm just gonna trim that around here. So now I have the matching envelope. And maybe you want to put a little deer on the front. We'll grab that one with the sentiment on it. And we'll put him right here. There you go. There's your twist corner fold. Nothing to it. That did go kind of fast. So let's see what else I can do. What else do I have cut here? Well, I have a piece of very vanilla. So let's see. Hmm, what do I want to do with this? Okay, let's play here and see. I have no idea what I'm going to do. No idea whatsoever, but let's see how it comes out. We're going to score that right in the middle. Oh, yes, definitely watch the replay. This looks like it's a little wider than I want. No, nope, that's right. Okay. So we have the very vanilla. Probably should have used white, though. I'm thinking white would have looked better, but... Maybe not. Let's see. I am going to grab some of this designer series paper. See what I have cut here. Something different. And maybe I use this one. Okay, so this kind of goes better with that. So let's do this one. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing with this one. We'll see how it turns out. I'm going to cut this at four inches. Long blade. There's my cutting blade. It keeps all popping out. Okay. And five and a quarter. Those are just standard measurements I just did. Let's see here. Similar to this one. Okay. All right. Let's bring in my stamping mat. Don't need that. Let's bring in those trees and my garden green. Hi, Deborah. I know people are going to be looking for me on YouTube. Sorry about that. I have to figure out why this wasn't working. And I'm just going to go right across here I have some of these little guys already cut out. Oh, I got an idea. How about like that? Yeah, see, I cut a bunch of them out earlier. But of course, these are from the punch. Let's see. Let's do three of them. That looks cute. Okay, so let's color those real quick. <laughs> there was a time where I would never do something. This is dark crumb cake. I would never try something like this live. I'd have to have everything here, know exactly what I'm doing, because this way, if I made a mistake, I'd know ahead of time. But it's fun just creating live, too. I'm just adding some dark around the deer. Doesn't need a lot. So I usually do the dark around the lines. Really no wrong way to use the blends. I don't even color the whole thing. You know, just add a little dark there. Let me grab my light. I want the other side, though. Blend that up. Let's 
See, I'm using the paintbrush side first. And then I'll go back and use the detailed or the bullet end for the smaller pieces. Just get those pieces blended in first. So they start to blend while I'm finishing it up. Okay, now let me grab the other end. And just drag some of that color into there. Soften that line. My fingers might be in the way, but this is kind of detailed. Now you can stamp these and, and then punch them out after you color them, but I like to have some extras done ahead of time because I'm really not sure what I'm doing. Well, that didn't sound good, did it? <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so there's one. Let's do this one. Of course, I use the Memento because I'm using the blends. A list of what I used will also be in the description either later tonight or tomorrow. It depends on how tired I am when this is done. If you see some harsh lines, just go back with the light color and blend it in. Okay, so now I got the three deer done. Let me close that up. I'm going to bring this back in. I'm going to start them down there, I think. I want to make sure I can get all three on there. Okay, so I'm going to do this with dimensionals. I really want them to pop. Start down at the corner here. And then the next one. Whoop. I love creating with all of you. I think two. Oh, I'll put one on the top there. No matter how tired I am after a day of work, I get on here and it's just like if I was having a class in my house. I'm going to put that one right here. He's going to have to go over there a little bit. Okay, and then the last one. So that they look like they're dashing through the trees. I might have to move him. There we go. I got my deer going up the trees. Let's see what else I want to do before. Grab some ribbon here. I have the red satin ribbon. Should have done that before. Nope, I can do that now, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a piece of ribbon off. Flip that over. If I had thought, you know, if I think it ahead of time, I know what I'm gonna do, but sometimes I lay things down and then it's like, oh no, I wanna change that. Okay, we're just gonna wrap that right around here. Okay. Now I'm going to put it on my card base so I can see what else I want to do. You keep getting bumped off, Molly? Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't technology great? This is a great bundle, and you definitely want to get the bundle, and during celebration, get that designer series paper. I'm going to put that right there. Now let's see. I'm going to bring in, do I have an off-white here? Yeah, I got 
very vanilla strips. Where are they? Right here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to grab the... All right, let's use the... It's that time of the year. Use that in red. Let me bring this down so I can stamp it. Hopefully not crooked. Yeah, that's crooked. Okay, so let's flip it over and do it over here. I have to put my head in the way. There we go. All right. Cut that piece off. Oh, don't think. Okay, Molly, I won't think that you left me. I hope you don't leave me. And I'm going to put that right there. Actually, I think I'll put it right up here like this. Yeah. Okay. So this I'm going to just grab my glue. I'm going to lay that right on top of the ribbon. It's right there. I'm going to grab this red ribbon here. Remember how I tie the bow? Grab the ears, grab the tails all at the same time and pull. And then just get it to the size you want. So I kind of put those through my fingers here, grab these two here, and pull. And that might be too big. I want a smaller bow, but I can just keep playing with it till I get it to the size I want. I love this red satin ribbon, too. One of my favorites. I know I have a lot of favorites. I'm going to put the bow just like that. I'm going to grab some glue dots. Put the first one right there. Actually, put another one right there. I don't know if you ever realized that the glue dots are very, very sticky. And then I'm going to put another one right there. I'm not too worried about that because it's it can still fit in the envelope, but I will cut a little bit piece off. I don't want it to get crushed in the envelope. Okay, okay there we go with that. Now let's grab my red rhinestones aren't here, so we'll just go ahead with the burgundy ones or the cherry cobbler ones. We'll take a little cherry cobbler. We're going to put that right there. So Rudolph is leading, right? Let me just put that right there. So cute, right? Okay. And then for the inside, most wonderful time of the year. And this one says, wishing you a wonderful year and friendship, dear. There we go. And how about we grab another one of those flying reindeer. Put him right there. Grab this. And then for this envelope, I'm just going to grab the deer again. have a matching envelope. Quick, easy card. Oh, thank you, Janice. So cute, right? And so easy to do. So those are my cards for tonight. Let's just see. So let me bring in that punch real quick. Because I do want to show you that you can take this and these you can cut if you get the right, the, going the right way. You see this one is down too far, but you can punch those out. These up here I could punch out because they're going the right way. But also, if you look at these deer, if you have leftover paper, let me see where, if I have any left because I've been using it. Here it is. 
if you have little pieces left over like this, right? You could take that punch and just punch them yourself. So now you have that deer. He's a little bit, there you go, see? So if you don't wanna cut out your paper like this, although that is the other side, you can use your um, red and black paper and punch those out. And also, of course, it punches out, you stamp it. Let's just grab one. Well, you saw me do it anyway, but you grab that. You take this, I'm just gonna do it in red. You saw me do the other one. Oop, I did that right on the, didn't mean to do it on there. And of course, you punch that right out. Normally I would punch it in black, but I was just using the red to show you. So you just angle that. And punch those cute little deer out. And then, of course, the other pieces are the little antlers. So the punch has the two antlers. And this little dot here for a red nose. What do you think? Okay. You know I always ask, which one's your favorite? Can't remember which ones we did? All right. Well, let's take a look at them again. Did you like the uh, twist fold card? Okay. So here's the one we just did. The flying reindeer, we'll call him. <laughs> he came out cute, didn't he? And then we have the twist fold, twist corner fold. And another one of these. I'm telling you, these are so easy to make. And then here's the one with just the designer series paper. Both are adorable. Thank you. And don't forget the red velvet paper. You got to have the red velvet paper for... Rudolph, right? And that black black checked ribbon. Don't think of that just for Halloween. And then, of course, we have this one with Rudolph and the little bunny. You, the, the, hey, Pam, the twist was your favorite. I think we might have to make that at the um, retreat. Of course, here's my tag. And then here was the first one where I cut the tag from behind there so that I could use it. So I didn't waste all that designer series paper. So I hope you enjoyed tonight. Again, if you're watching this um, later on YouTube, I apologize that I wasn't on YouTube live, but I'm so thankful and happy that all of you joined me on Facebook live. I'll get that uh, technical problem fixed. I have to find out why it's not connecting. But until then, I'm glad you joined me here. I hope you enjoyed these cards. Don't forget that celebration ends September 30th, so you definitely want to get that paper to go with that matching bundle, okay? And what else? I guess that's it for now, so have a great week. And I will see you back here Friday morning live at 7 a.m. Until then, keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.